Hello, this is Bern, and if you feel like you've been attempting to find deep, passionate love for months or even years without being able to do it, and it feels harder than it needs to be, on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you why this is so and what you can do starting today to turn this around once and for all. Stick with me. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to yourgreatlifetobe.com, a space where I share with ambitious, heart-centered, conscious, and successful women how you can create the relationship of your dreams without games, without manipulation, without crazy techniques, and as a result of stepping in the most alive, the most feminine, and the most radically honest version of yourself. Here's how I'll start this video. The reason why finding love feels hard, deep love, passionate love, lifelong love, best friend, partnership, soul connection, is because it is hard. Having said that, the reason why it feels harder than it needs to be is because sometimes human beings, in this specific case women, because you are my audience and who I'm speaking with right now, step into relationships in this analogy. Imagine that you want to drive from California to Alaska and it's going to be a long way up. And you get your car, it's an amazing car, beautiful car, just washed and uh, you put in the highest grade of fuel that you can find and you get on the road and as you get on the road you recognize after five days on a trip that maybe should have lasted two or three that you still feel like you're in your neighborhood well the reason why this feels harder in that specific analogy is because you have been circling around your block for five days a lot of women I connect with who tell me it's been years and I'm I just can't seem to find this love thing is because they are running around in circles, confusing circles for the direct path of finding love. Now, having said this, there is no direct highway to find love. There's, it's a curved highway, but it still goes in some, it still has a progression of, of a path going forward. Circling around doesn't have a progression going forward. Rather than just sharing this analogy with you, which in and of itself can wake you up to the fact that you've been running in circles versus going for a straight or for a curved road that gets you love, I'm going to share with you specific ways in which you might be running around in circles. First one is choosing the same fundamental type of men. If you go, let's say you've gone over the last 10 years through six relationships, and if you step back, you dissect the core essence the core characteristics, the core elements that made you feel super attracted to one, each one of those guys or that made you say yes to them, you will find some commonalities. And most times those commonalities, it's like you have a different face and a different guy but the same essence. Maybe the commonality is the guy doesn't really want commitment. Maybe the commonality is the guy hasn't found his passion in life and he's just wandering around aimlessly and you're the stronger one of the two. Uh, in the sense that you'll, you have your shit together and he doesn't. Maybe the commonality is he is somewhat abusive and somewhat controlling and you confuse that control with love because it feels intense. So as you can see, like going for the same type of guy is running around in circles. Second reason in which you might be stepping into running around in circles is you are fundamentally attempting to fi feel a void in your life through each one of those men that you're connecting with. Now, at some level, we all want to feel a void, but when the fundamental reason for stepping into a relationship is my life is lacking meaning, my life is lacking expressiveness, life is lacking awesomeness, passion, drive, uh, openness, any of the things that are really fundamentally yours to own, you don't own, own them on your, by, by yourself and you seek them out in someone, it's the it's, it's, imagine you have a barrel that, can, that has a hole in the bottom and it can never be filled up. It's an unending well that feels like no matter how much he does, it's still not enough. And it's not enough because you're seeking him things that you should find first in yourself. So again, if you have gone through several guys attempting to find some fundamental essence of life that you haven't had the knowledge or wisdom or courage or training on how to find within yourself, then you feel like it's never enough. And it's never enough, not because of them, but because you should be doing certain things for yourself first. Third reason why a lot of women go around in circles feeling like it's harder than it needs to be is because they don't set strong, powerful, clear enough boundaries at the start. So what does that mean? That means that you enter a relationship, you feel attracted to the guy, 
you make the decision subconsciously that he should be the one or that he's an awesome guy because he treated you really well for the first two or three dates. And then when he starts doing things that mess with your boundaries, instead of saying, absolutely not, or here's what I need, or here's how we can do this, or help me understand this because it's not feeling right, you start fearing losing him, so you don't set a boundary. Those boundaries, when they get crossed time and time and time again, create a feeling of pain, of resentment, of I'm never gonna get what I want, and greater fear, because you're more invested, that I'm gonna lose him if I now tell him after this long that I don't want this. So the fear gets stronger, the pain gets stronger, and you get trapped into, into a situation that eventually one day you'll say, I'm out. And you're out because you were not clear early on that those are things that should not be crossed and maybe had you share them, some guys have the capacity to say, I'm cool with that, some guys don't, but either way, you could have avoided a lot more pain had you said that at the beginning. Now, if you didn't, then you've gone from relationship to relationship, not setting the right boundaries and running around in circles. Fourth reason why you might be running around in circles instead of going for the closest path to finding love is because sometimes, imagine that you have a cookie jar and you get inside and the label that gives you the calories and the sugar and the ingredients on the outside, you can't see it. So what does that mean? Sometimes there's things that you're fundamentally doing that you may not have the self-awareness to know that what you're doing isn't getting you the result. It could be anything from the way you connect with them, the level of openness you share, the decisions you make, uh, big red flags that you're unaware of. But if, if you're not self-aware of the mistakes you're making, but still go forward, just pushing harder, then you're making more mistakes along the way. So that would be the cookie jar approach. Like I'm inside a cookie jar, I can't see on the outside, but I keep doing more and more and faster and faster. Instead of getting better, it's more painful for me the more I, I go along. Um, and the last thing I'll say is that sometimes it's a combination of these things, right? Sometimes it's not just one of them. Sometimes there's a combination of all these things that I'm sharing that make this really, really hard for you to find love. So recapping what I said, finding love is absolutely hard, but you might be making it significantly harder by not recognizing some of the challenges, flaws that I shared with you right now. Now, if you feel this is helpful, useful, insightful, I'm gonna invite you to do three things. Number one, click like or thumbs up on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. And you can click the little bell if you want to be notified of new episodes so you don't miss out when they come out. Third and most important of all, if you feel like you wanna learn a lot more about how to step into the most passionate version of yourself, how to create the relationship you want, there's two things that I have for you. The first one is, first link under the description of this video, you'll find a masterclass that you can sign up for. It's free, all you do is enter, click on the link, enter your name and email, and you'll be directed immediately to start watching it. If you say, Bern, I've watched enough of your videos, or this video is powerful enough that I, that I know I need more help than just watching videos. I want some hand-holding. I don't have five or 10 extra years to figure how to create a fire when you might have a lighter that can help me do that in five minutes. If you want a straighter approach that's less circly in nature, and you want hand-holding and specific mentorship and guidance to find the deepest love that you want to find within yourself and with somebody else, then on the second link of the description of this video, you'll find an application. You fill out the application. I'll read each one of them personally. If I feel I can help you, my assistant will reach out, set up a time for us to connect, and we can speak. And if we're fit to work together, we'll go forward. I'll let you know how this works. And if we are not fit to work together, then at least you got more awareness and deeper understanding of what you're doing wrong. Thank you so much for connecting with me. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.